Ira in Middletown, Connecticut writes, Paul, could you explain the difference between current signal transfer and voltage signal transfer? I enjoy your posts, videos, and my stellar stack while waiting for the air lens. Oh, aren't we all waiting for the air lens? <laughs> I've announced it twice on this channel and it still isn't out. <sighs> the parts pandemic. Oh my dear Lord. Okay. So voltage and current signal transfer. That's, you know, it's a little difficult to explain because there's so little understanding of the two, yet it is kind of simple in a way. So let's use the water analogy. In a water analogy, current, the power, is what we use to push the water out through a hose, okay? That, that's the pump is, is providing this pressure. And the voltage is the, the speed at which it comes out, if you will, so that you have the flow and then you have the thing that's pushing the flow. Um, another way to look at this, if we look at it in electrical terms, we need both v for, a, for a signal of a standard kind. Now, I'm not going to get into it. So let me explain a little something um, because I know that a lot of engineers actually watch this and then they get all pissy with me and like, oh, you didn't explain it you know, correctly. I, I, I am trying to come down to a low uh, denominator so that people without a whole lot of electrical knowledge understand that. Because look, we have current amplifiers that really don't, that, that it goes into a zero summing point and we put in varying amounts of current and we get out uh, an audio signal. But I'm gonna restrict this more to try and explain the difference between the, the two in, in a standard configuration, okay? So voltage, think of voltage as the actual signal. It's, it's the rising and falling of this if we have a sine wave, okay? So if I take a, uh, a guitar and I pluck it and it goes through a microphone, you know, you have the air pressure moving the microphone and that creates a voltage, okay? And that voltage is the electrical representation of the movement of the air. And it is in terms of just pure voltage. The higher the voltage, the louder the signal, the lower the voltage, um, which can be expressed any number of ways. But when we look at it on a, si on, a, on, a, on a oscilloscope, we see this rising and falling voltage. Current is the ability in this instance of the voltage to drive a load. So if I have this voltage, there is, it's wrong to think that there's a certain amount of current that is going up and down with this voltage as just hanging out. It's, it's the two aren't, th there isn't any current going along with this voltage until we start to look at it. So, gosh, what, what, what was that in physics? The, the Schrodinger's cat, was it? Or, oh, gosh, I, I, I forgot all of that. It's like the cat doesn't exist unless you look at it. Um, I don't remember. I shouldn't even get into that. because. But it's sort of the same thing with voltage and current. If we want to look at it with a scope, then we have to put a scope probe onto the voltage. And when we do that... There's a certain amount of impedance, um, resistance, if you will. We're, we're consuming a bit of energy in order to grab that waveform and look at it on our scope. In order for the voltage not to drop down, in order for the voltage to have enough voltage to power our scope, we have to have current. And current is the, is the, the horsepower needed to make it so that the voltage doesn't vary. Kind of like a car, 
you know, th the voltage would be a car just drifting along uh, along a, f a flat road and then it encounters a hill. Well, if you want to keep that same speed up as you go up and down these hills, you need more and less horsepower. You need more and less current, more or less wattage to maintain the level of voltage or the speed of the car uh, as it encounters this resistance, whether it be hills or whatever. So in a preamplifier, we have voltage going up and down with the music. The preamplifier's output is connected to the power amplifier's input. And let's say that that power amplifier has an input impedance of 10 kilo, uh, 10 kilo ohms, 10,000 ohms. Well, you need enough current to make sure that the voltage doesn't change into that load. And that requires, you know, 0.023 watts, you know, whatever. When we put it into a speaker, now that impedance has gone way down. It's like a big hill we're trying to climb. And we need lots of current. So now, if you measure the current, it's tracking the voltage identically. As the voltage goes up, so the current goes up and it goes back down and up in order to maintain the level of voltage as steady. I know that isn't a complete information, but it should be enough to give you kind of a basic idea of what the difference between the two is. Hope that helped. Thanks.